All right, guys, welcome back to another video. Um, today, I'm going to be discussing how I'm intending to use my SQS shifter to shift both the front and rear gearbox. So, the shifter in question is this bad boy here. So, as I mentioned, it's an SQS sequential shifter. So, it kind of takes the original mechanism of a O2 shifter, which is one of these. And it uses a series of cogs and stuff inside to move it from kind of like a, a typical um, gated type shifter to a sequential shifter. So it's quite a nifty bit of kit actually, I must admit. Um, so, what I have to do basically, take this out of the box, is you've got two holes in the front, and obviously the cables for the front engine go through there. I'm gonna have to drill some holes in the back so I can attach the cables for the rear gearbox to come in and attach to the to the cogs. I've taken it apart and it is doable. So it is literally like a straight line. So I can come in from the from that rear and, and attach it that way. Um so that's that. Um the next issue is the alignment of the cables themselves. So on the front gearbox configuration, it's as it as it was intended. So this is the mount for the cables. And these are the two cables. They kind of come up at an angle, mount to the gearbox, go through the mount, and they attach to the shifter fork. So obviously when you're going up and down, kind of that's how it works. And then side to side action is that one there. Um, so it's all quite straightforward for the front. However, with the rear configuration, it's not just a case of grabbing this and then flicking it over 180 degrees because as you can see, there's an angle, an orientation that comes up. So it's kind of coming up at a V and they're, they're not parallel. One's kind of higher than the other. So I have to follow those angles through and then flip it around if that makes sense. So hence why I've got this contraption, um, which is basically my um, first take at trying to mimic that angle but on the flick side. So in essence, if you can imagine that again, that V just keeps going. Well, that's what it's doing here. It's going through that one on the left um, on the left cable and through that one on the right cable. Um, so what I'll do now is just take this off and then flick it around and put it through that one um, and just show you kind of why I've had to do it that way. Okay, so I've attached the cables going from the opposite side. So as you can see, they're clearly not the same way they were installed over here, but you can see they kind of now converge through that point um, and they do a slightly different orientation to each other. So um, that's how the rear cable is going to sit. So what I'm going to have to do is kind of make a plate across here for the, the cables to sit and be mounted rigid, rigidly um, to the gearbox. So if I go and shift now, <laughs> Now I know this is back to front, so clearly that would be facing the other way with the cables coming out the back, so I'm, I'm in essence sh shifting backwards, but you can see it does work. That's going through all six gears. There we go. Back to neutral. So it feels a little bit stiff, so I've clearly got some tweaking to do in terms of orientation and stuff um, but it is shifting so I'm, I'm kind of happy with its position um, I will be using better cables than these on, on the front and rear some kind of motorsport cables that are that should um, have very little resistance inside um, so that should improve things and I'm, I'll be cutting off this weight here again just to aid in, in shifting but um, yeah that's that's about it so that's, that's how it's going to be done so I can kind of get this in um, get the engine and gearbox into the car now and test that fully. Um, now I know the front cables are going to be about a metre long, the rears are going to be a bit longer than that, so probably a metre and a half, if not two metres. But I can double check that once they're in the car. But that's it from this quick video, just explaining what the situation is with the shifter and how I'm intending to route the cables and stuff. So that's progress. Um, anyway, as always, thanks for watching and I will catch you up on the next update. Cheers, bye.